Welcome! My name's James, and this video tutorial will show you how to make Foxhound rank on Metal Gear Solid 3. Foxhound rank is the highest achievable end game rank in the game. In order to get it, you have to beat the game on either Extreme or European Extreme, under 5 hours, no alerts, kills, continues, meals, life medicine, special items, none of that. You have to sustain under 5 life bars of damage and 20 injuries. Now these are pretty austere conditions and require basically a perfect playthrough. Good news is you can save up to 25 times and we'll take advantage of that to help lesser skilled players make the rank. Now, I'm going to show you a few alternative strategies through some areas in case my preferences don't match up with, uh, you know, what you're comfortable with. I prefer using CQC, though sometimes we'll use the Mark 22 and stun grenades when it's going to cut down on time significantly. I'm going to play through this on European Extreme. You get a game over on Euro Extreme whenever you go into alert mode. Note that alert mode is not triggered every time a guard perceives a snake. Uh, we'll get into the nuances of that as we, as we go along. And we all, of course, like MGS1. Now this is pretty straightforward at the start. Just go grab Snake's backpack off of the tree. Now bear in mind that cutscenes and radio conversations contribute towards your final time, so you want to skip each story sequence as soon as you can. You'll need fewer camouflage patterns with the greater tactics, but for now you want to train out of your olive drab fatigues into woodland face paint and leaf camouflage. And this second area is likewise easy, though watch out for the gavial crocodiles. Their tails can do quite a bit of damage and you will want to save every bit of your maximum life bar for any unfortunate accidents during a boss fight or the last chase sequence. Now you'll encounter Snake's first guards. These are KGB soldiers and the first one is right in your way. You want to lure him away from his post. To do so, stand past the stump to get the guard to investigate Snake's location. Then you can seek you see him from behind. Notice that the guard turns at Snake's footsteps. This does not count as an alert. The guard's range of hearing is slightly larger than Snake's range of CQC, so as soon as you see that exclamation point, CQC slam him to the ground. And if you timed everything correctly, the guard patrolling the exit will have its back turned to Snake as Snake ascends the slope. Now I'll show you the quick way through Dole Vodno first. There's a hornet's nest directly in front of Snake. If you shoot it, the nest will drop and the hornets will chase the guard out of the area. The guard will cross the bridge, run past the other two patrols, and take them right out of the area, as well as the third sentry on the other side of the bridge. Be sure to keep a fair enough distance behind the guard as he crosses the bridge so that his comrades don't see you over him and go into alert, because that can still happen. Now I'd like to show you a way of getting through here using CQC and sneaking. First, slide down the slope, run up behind the first guard, and snatch him from behind. Do not throw him to the ground. When you have him in a hold, tap D-pad rapidly until you choke him out and he has six stars over his head. Drop him, then switch to no face paint and naked camo and run onto the bridge. The nearest soldier will come to investigate. Change back to woodland face paint and leaf camo. Crouch in the tall grass and your camo will be at 60%. This is high enough that they will not notice you. Now the first guard will notice the KGB guard you knocked out. Each guard will have to see the fallen soldier individually to go investigate. A soldier will not hear Snake's footsteps when he's going to investigate a body. This is very important because it will allow you to sneak up on both of them at the same time. Slam the second guard first, and slam the first guard before he finishes examining the body. Notice when you slam them they have two stars over their head. That means they'll wake up more quickly. You want the six stars over the first soldier's head to give you enough time to do all this. 
Finally, fall off the left side of the bridge at the very end, drop down and catch the branch. Slide along the ledge, and you will make it right behind the KGB sentry patrolling the entrance to the area where Sokolov is held. Now Snake will approach Sokolov's cell. Run onto the road. The guard will perceive Snake and investigate. Go to the gap on the far right of the right wall. Crawl through and wait for the guard to pass. Next, run along the fence to Snake's right. You will attract some attention from the guards, but you are a ninja shadow barely perceived. Uh, they will come to investigate, but you will be long gone by the time they're there. This can get tricky. Walk or roll up onto the elevated floor. Then, slam the guard from behind. Now, Sokolov is all yours. Now let's look at an alternate execution of the same strategy. Attract the first guard as before, run over to the hole, crawl through and wait for the guard to pass. Stand up, but instead of running along the fence immediately, wait two seconds. This will change the positions of the guards when you make the approach to Sokolov's room. The guard on the grass is less likely to see Snake, and the guard on the elevated platform has turned around and is patrolling towards Sokolov. Wait until he is looking away from Snake to approach him and slam him down. And again, Sokolov is all yours. Functionally, this is the end of Virtuous Mission. Run forth, skip the cutscenes, and do not save your game at the prompt. Save points should be used after you have prepared for the next upcoming areas. You want to re-prepare as few things as possible upon loading up a saved game. And trust me, you will probably be loading up a lot of saved games. Now we're at the start of Operation Snake Eater. First, switch to black face paint and camos. Fire all of the ammunition from Snake's handgun into the environment, and do not use tactical reload. This will give you two empty magazines in your inventory that you can throw to distract guards. You can throw animals to attract guard attention, but throwing magazines makes guard attention easier to control. There's a delay between the time food lands and the time it attracts guards' attention. And with magazines, there's no time delay. It's immediate. As soon as it hits the ground, the guard is paying attention to it. Now you want to save. The next areas are more complex than Virtuous Mission's KGB Gauntlet and you'll want to save here to practice the skills that you tried out in the previous section. The next save point will be right before the Ocelot unit fight. When you load up from that save, quickly switch to no face paint and naked camo, and then stand in the open. The first soldier will see Snake, and both will come to investigate. Huh? Who was that just now? Put back on your black face paint and black camo, and then run to the side and hide. These guys are on their way to check out the drone that the boss destroyed in the previous cutscene. When they get there, they will trigger a caution as a scripted event. You don't want this to happen. Once the second soldier has passed that tree, take him out first. Then take out the point man. On the path to Snake's right, there will be a third sentry, and if you've timed everything correctly, you'll run past and he will perceive Snake without triggering an alert. Now you'll want your empty clips to get through the next section, but before we look at that, let's look at why it's important to take out the guards. Again, I'll lure them out with a low camo index. Notice that the guard on the left looks down at the right soldier's feet. 
That means he's going to follow that soldier wherever he goes. This is important body language to pick up on for devising new strategies. Now I'll sneak past them instead of taking them out. I can still slip past the third guard without triggering an alert. However, after they stop investigating Snake's old location, they will trigger the scripted caution sequence. This will fill the next area with more guards and make it much more difficult to get through. This is why you want to take them out before heading to the bridge. I'm going to show you one main way through Dolivodno. Crawl up to the ledge and throw a magazine clip at the base of the right bridge support. Slide down the slope, then slam the first guard to your left down, then take out the second guard. Now let's look at two elements that make this strategy work. The bridge guard starts off facing Snake. His patrol route also gives him a good view of the area. Rather than wait for him to move on his own, throw the magazine to get him to turn around. Otherwise, he'll see Snake and trigger an alert. Also, you want to make sure to take out the left guard first. If you try to run by him, your footsteps may call his attention and trigger an alert. Now let's look at the full strategy once more. Magazine. Slide. Slam. Slam. Bridge. A third guard patrols the slope toward the cliff. Since you move through the first part of this area quickly, he'll have his back turned towards Snake as Snake runs through. Now we're at Snake's destination. There are no guards here, but you need to prepare for the Ocelot unit battle. There's an AK-47 at the top of these stairs. You'll want that for the empty magazine clips. Grab cardboard box A off these crates. Enter Sokolov's old room open the locker, and grab the IR goggles. Now you're ready to prepare. Put on the woodland face paint and tiger stripe camo. This will give you a good balance of visibility and coverage. Take out the AK-47, the cardboard box, and the IR goggles. Fire all of your AK bullets at the wall. Do not use, again, do not use tactical reload. Each clip holds 30 rounds and you start with 91 bullets. This will add three more magazines to your inventory, giving you a total of four. Now put away your AK and exit the building. And this is a good save point as well. For an extra challenge, you can make this the first save point of a Foxhound run. Snake starts with the M19 handgun equipped. This does lethal damage, so you don't want to use this. Open the survival viewer and take out the Mark 22 tranquilizer gun. Run immediately south. Grab the mine detector and stand where the item was. Four soldiers will be entering the room from the west. When the point man says move for the second time, throw a stun grenade at the inner edge of the doorway. This will put the grenade right at their feet and take out three of them at once. Move! 
immediately put on your cardboard box and turn away from the blast. As soon as the grenade goes off, run underneath the roof awning. Otherwise, the sniper up top will see you. You can control which way the sniper patrols. I'll show you how that works. If Snake runs to the left after taking out those three guards, the sniper will survey the area below and then move to the left corner. However, if Snake runs to the right, the sniper will move right. You want the sniper to go right. Use the Mark 22 to headshot the sniper. Now equip an empty magazine and throw it at the boxes to the south. Then press against the wall and wait for the guard to enter the room. Use the D-pad to stalk. Guards during the Ocelot unit fight are more alert and there's no grace period between the time that they perceive you and go into alert mode. Enter the room and press against the wall to the south of the bed. Let's look at that again. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Two soldiers are standing outside the building and they'll come running in response to the knocks. You need to stagger those last two knocks so that the soldiers are close together when they enter. One more note about guard perceptions. Guards will slowly investigate a spot where Snake has knocked once or twice. If Snake knocks three times, the guard will run. You can use this to control their arrival. Now the first soldier will not see Snake and will not hear Snake slam the second soldier. When the second soldier is in the middle of the door opening animation, he will not react to Snake's footsteps. Now these next parts are kind of tricky. Jump off the elevated floor and throw an empty clip at the corner of the fence near the Ocelot unit soldier. Run close to the fence so that one of the soldiers on the other end of the map will see Snake due to a low camo index. As soon as the Ocelot unit soldier walks between the tree and the ruined metal pillar, throw an empty clip into the ruins. He'll go to investigate and you can take him from behind. Stay close to the wall so that the other final soldier does not see you. Enter the ruins and stand behind the stacked crates. Aim for the gap between the two top crates with your final empty clip. Now you can take this last one out. And Snake celebrates by running in his cardboard box. This is another good place to save, and this is where this video ends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.